Hey Jefferson friends! Today you get to write your own video game song using this game called Mario Sequencer that you're looking at right now. It's a little bit complicated, so make sure you watch this video. I'm going to try to make it as quick as I can before you start playing around with it. The first thing you're going to want to do is if this is a little bit hard to see, you're going to go up here. Let me make uh, up here and click this two by two button and make it three by three, makes it bigger. So now, right now, when I look at my music staff, the lines and spaces with the treble clef, if I click on it, ooh, Mario ends up on it and it makes a sound. When I go higher, it goes higher. When I go lower, the sound goes lower. I cannot click between the two little lines, or these little lines. These lines are kind of like the beats of the music and it's where we can um, make the music happen. So now that I've kind of written an up and down, I can press play and let's see what it sounds like. All right, I'm gonna press stop. Now it's stopped where there's still empty space. If I wanna go back to the beginning, I scroll over here. Now let's say I didn't love this. So I click on my eraser. The eraser is down here with a little E. And let's say I don't like this note so much or that bottom one. So then instead of Mario, I'm gonna click on the little mushroom. Ooh, mushroom's the drum sound. I wanna find out what the other sounds are. Let's see what Yoshi does. Whoa, the star. Ooh, this is a trumpet sound, I like that. So I wanna do a trumpet sound here and here and maybe at the same time as that one and maybe the same time as this one. Okay, now let's see what this sounds like. Interesting. So I press stop and I scroll back. Let's say I want it to be faster. Remember that tempo is the fancy word for fast and slow in music. So I'm gonna speed up the tempo and now see what happens. Whoa, that was really fast. I'm gonna slow it down somewhere in the middle. Go back to the beginning and see what happens. Cool, all right. Let's say I like that beginning and I wanna keep going. I want some Yoshi sounds here, some down low Yoshi sounds. And then maybe some stars at the same time. Ooh, I don't, I don't know if I love that, so I click my eraser down here. And erase that guy. Let's say, ooh, that's kind of a fun sound. Let's say I want a high sound for that. And let's see. <laughs> There's a dog barking sound. I could do it at the same time as that Yoshi. Let's see. <laughs> a cat meowing. Let's say I want to keep going and I run out of space. So I scroll over here. Let's do some meows. Meow. Oh, let's do a pig at the same time as the first meow and the last meow. And let's keep scrolling over. Whoa, it's kind of a cool sound. I like that. All right, what about <laughs> a little baby crying sound? Ooh, this piano sound is nice. So I scroll over. I said piano, I mean, it's definitely not a piano. It's more like a guitar sound, so I like that. Let's keep scrolling. Huh, we'll do that. Same time as the Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna be a lot of sound at once. I wonder what's gonna sound like. Ooh, that's a cool bass sound. Keep scrolling. Let's say I want to finish it. To finish, you click this yellow button uh -huh. once, and then you click where you want the song to end. So that shows the double bar line. Remember, we draw two lines and the music is over. So that shows us that the music is over. So I'm going to scroll back to the beginning and see what happens when I press play. So that was my song. I could make it go slower or faster with the tempo. Let's say I want the song to repeat. 
I press this loop button and ooh, those two dots show up at the end that tells us to repeat. So now when I press play, it should do it more than one time. Ooh, it did. It started back over just like it was supposed to. Let's say I wrote all this and I don't like any of it anymore. If I press the clear button, everything disappears. Now, if you uh -huh. just wanna hear somebody else's ideas, there are four ideas to listen to down here. There's the frog you can listen to and press play. We, I showed that one in the last video. Let's listen to the star one. Whoa, they're singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. That's cool. I wonder if any of you could do something like that with the stars. Wow. I noticed in this one that there are some blank spaces. Those are the rests. Remember in music, there's a rest when there's no sound. So make sure that you have some rests in your song. If you want to hear the mushroom, you can click on that. If you want to hear the dog, well, maybe the dog's not one. Maybe you guys can help me figure out what the dog does. So a couple of quick reminders. The E is the eraser. Any of these buttons are different sounds. The yellow thing up here is how you end the song. If you want the song to repeat over and over, you click the loop. And the tempo is how you change the speed, faster and slower. When you click the bomb, I'm actually not sure what happens. You guys have to figure out and tell me what happens when you click the bomb. Remember about the eraser. That's the hardest part, I think, to remember. Um, and if you hate all of it, you just click clear, and then you've got a bland, brand new empty staff to work on. I hope that you have a lot of fun with this on your Chromebook. And I'm going to work on figuring out a way for you to share your compositions, your music with me. Be looking out for that video. I miss you all very much, friends. Have a wonderful day.